There you have it, folks. I.E.R. Gibbs is here, and we're going to be playing Dark Parables, the Requiem for a Forgotten Shadow. I feel like that's a bit of a full tongue-twisting sort of title for me, anyways. But anyway, this is the 13th game. That's right, 1-3 in the series. Uh, we're we're going to play the beta, uh, and I can already tell by the main scene here, wow, this game looks gorgeous just from this main area here. Uh, I'm doing this live for all the beautiful people on Hitbox, Twitch, YouTube, and Beam. Hello everyone, I'm waving to all of you. Uh, we're gonna get into this uh, soon, very soon. I'm really trying to think of how I'm gonna remember the name of this game. Uh, maybe I can just... Forgotten Shadow, oh boy. <laughs> oh, I'm never gonna remember the name of this. Requiem for the Forgotten Shadow. Anyways. Let's get into this, we're gonna hit the play button. We got casual, hard, insane, and custom. Typical Epix difficulty settings here, which is really nice. There might be something in here that's relatively unique to this game, I don't know, I usually just go good old cash. Detective, strange things have been happening in the town of Anavin, at the foot of the Alps. The Duke of Anavin has called us for help. People in the town are getting sick with a bizarre illness. It renders them senseless. It's spreading at an alarming rate. The ill look like pale shadows of their former selves. The Duke's wife was one of the first people to get sick. He'll tell you more once you get there. That's all the information I have. Good luck, Detective. <laughs> Why? Why every game? What a jerk! Nearly ran us off the road. Alright folks, what is it that happens every single intro to Dark Parables? Come on, shut it out! What happens every single game? <laughs> oh, Who do you my think you gosh. are jumping in front of my carriage like that? You almost got us killed. Whoa, whoa, dude, you are like streaming down the hill. You almost got us killed. Now, what are you doing here? Yes, we are riding a horse in every intro. Intro? Intro? And we get thrown off the horse every single. Oh, don't forget the le leather gloves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what are you doing here? This is the medallion the Duke sent me. I'll show it to him. Oh, I thought you'd never come. 
I'm taking Elena to a doctor in the mountains. I just can't watch her suffer anymore. I really like the art style that they're going with. Uh, this just looks fabulous. It's that kind of like cartoony anime look. It's really nice. This is getting out of control. I've even gotten a threatening letter. People all over town are getting sick. If the finest doctor in Anaben can't help, how can I? Elena's delirious. Maybe you can make some sense of what she's saying. Here, this essential oil might help. The Duke's devastated by what's happened to his wipe. Wipe? <laughs> yeah, so what's happened to his wipe? Hopefully I can help. Yeah, it's a zombie outbreak, yeah. Alright, so we have some essential oils. Look at us with our essential oils. What do we have for objectives? We have to examine the Duchess Elena. Uh, hmm. I like the ponies. Look at these. These horses look fantastic. Very nice art style here. Makes me think of Cinderella. Whoa, hello, Gears. People are getting sick all over town, and you're doing nothing about it. You're not the leader this town needs. I suggest you and your wife leave town. If you don't oblige, then a fate even more horrid will befall you. Oh man. There we go. Even the matches are beautiful. <laughs> uh, that's one of the things the Dark Barrels uh, do is they... Every object in this game is so ornate and beautiful. It's crazy. Yeah, kind of like the uh, final Cinderella, exactly. Okay, so I think this is the right winch, but I have to put the parts together. What else we got in here? Sort of a winch. Fancy winch is fancy. We use this. Yep. Now, let's see what I can use for the remedy. Already into the glitter. Yay! It's glitter time. We are going to be making a fragmented object. Oh my goodness. It looks like it's an oil a lantern. How many of you are super glad for fragmented object scenes? And how many of you are like, ugh? I know there's uh, lots of folks that actually don't like these, and uh, that turns them off, the Dark Parable series. I feel like it's just unique in its own right, so I'm okay with it. Gotta find all the bits. Uh, good question, I'm not sure about the morphing objects. Typically they are the Parables pieces, which kind of makes me sad. Uh, when I was uh, recording the 12th Dark Parables, I went on a diatribe of how I wish the parables were easier to find. Because quite frankly, I don't think we should miss out on story just because they morph. I think the parables can be, you know, collectibles, but I don't think they should be morphing. Just my two cents worth. So now we have this one less piece. I think we're just gonna go ahead and hit that. There we go. Come on. So now we have an oil lantern. So, uh, you've collected a plus item. Plus items can be examined further and even combined with other items from your inventory. So I think our essential oil is going to go here. Now I just have to light the wick. Uh, let's see. Okay. Oh, seriously? That match didn't work? We only have one left. The medicine is ready now. Here, here's your medicine for your, your wife. I hope there's crowbars in this game, too. Fancy, super ornate, pretty crowbars, please. I have to take a closer look at the Duchess. A man with a ruby ring. Oh, 
Uh oh. Oh my, I've never seen an illness like that. She's so pale, almost lifeless. Well, that's the reason why you like the Dark Parable series? Yeah, I get it. I totally get it. I hope the remedy works so I can talk to her. Uh. Darkness. Shadow. Beware the candle. Beware the candle. Look at the green vapors here. Uh, anything else you want me to do, game? The dust particles floating around is really nice. <gasps> I don't think the remedy is helping, I'm afraid. She's running out of time. Thank you for your help, Detective. We really shouldn't disturb her anymore. He doesn't seem too upset about this, does he? There's no time to waste. Go ahead and investigate the town. We have to go. Okay, maybe a little bit. Yeah, she does kind of look like a warrior, I agree. The Duchess really needs help. Like, really, really. Uh, let's see here. What's our objective? Investigate the town of Anaben. Whoa, what a strange man. That strange man did something that made our shadows move. Some locations in the game contain hidden pieces of parables. Collect three pieces of the same parable. Yeah, is it morphing? I can't even tell. Yeah, see, how are you going to see that? There's no way I'm going to see this. Even with all of your lovely help. <laughs> Almost 80 people watching right now, and I'm sure we're going to miss a few. Ooh, yes. Hello, kitty cat. What do you have to say for yourself? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Here, kitty. Where did you run off to? Someone dropped something in there. I have to find a star-shaped key to remove the grates. This mysterious man put up some kind of magical barrier on the gate. The kitty from the intro is back. Exactly. Alright, uh, what do we have over here? This, like, smoky thing when we zoom in is interesting. I'm not sure how I feel like about that. Like, see how it smokes? I don't know, it's kind of different, I guess. Oh yeah, definitely in the older games, the parables were much easier to find. And that's the way they should be. They have story, they have context, like, I... Anyways, I'm not gonna get into it again. <laughs> I've said my piece. <gasps> I hear a kitty cat purring. Do you hear the kitty cat purring? Hello, kitty cat. <gasps> Did this cat wander in here, or does she belong to the candle maker? Sky Jen, a writer who lost his shadow. His shadow became a man. The writer became sick while the shadow flourished. So, the shadow left the writer and became a man himself. I like how the, the black kitty's got like emerald eyes and then is wearing this fancy collar. It's cool. Mm-hmm. Got some beautiful music in the background too. Candles look really well animated. Help him! So he agreed to pose as the shadow servant until he met a beautiful princess. The writer got arrested. He and the shadow switched places. It seems like the writer and the shadow switched places. Then the writer was betrayed. Why would you ever switch places with a shadow? Feels so wrong. 
I don't recall if I've played Haunted Mysteries, The Island of the Lost Souls. Doesn't sound familiar, but I'm not sure. It looks like a wax figurine stand, but it's empty. I'm not sure if this will go here. No. Wow, those are big gears. Stray Souls Dollhouse Story? Yeah, I like that game, actually. I like both the Stray Souls games. What else we got? Looks like we're gonna have to make something here. These moles are incomplete. Oh, another book. The shadow told the princess that his own shadow has gone mad. She approved of his execution. The shadow married the princess while the writer died. Wait, 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 wait. Am I inferring that the Duchess? No, it can't be that couple, right? It's got to be a different couple. Never mind. The writer lost his life because of the shadow. What a strange story, and why is the candle maker researching this? 